Hi everyone, let's start with another SOLIDWORKS feature which is the revolve boss slash pace and the revolve cut. Now the difference between the extrude boss slash pace and the revolve boss slash pace is that in the extrude boss feature we can add the material in the linear direction and in the revolve boss we can add the material in the revolve direction with respect to a particular axis that we can define. So let's get started with the new part. Let's use the unit system as the millimeters and start sketching on the front plane. Let's draw some sketch lines to create the cross section or the uh, geometry that we want to revolve with respect to an axis. And as I do the sketching, I'm going to add the uh, dimensions as well. I'm going to add a few more dimensions to the sketch to make it fully defined. Once I complete the dimensions to define the sketch fully defined, then I can go to features, click on the revolve boss slash base, and we need to choose the axis of revolution. So if I select the vertical line on the Y axis to make it as an axis of revolution, the SOLIDWORKS will give you a preview of how we want to revolve this particular sketch. We can choose the option for the direction one in terms of the angle. So if we choose 360 degrees, then the sketch will be uh, revolved to complete the loop. And we can choose the another angle, let's say for 180 degrees, then only half of the sketch will be revolved in this case. So let me go with 360 degrees to make it a fully revolved sketch and if I click on the check mark that is how we can create the revolve feature so it's pretty simple to use uh, we need to make sure what the axis of revolution that we want to use for revolving the sketch if I right click on the revolve and click on the edit feature and do not choose the line one as the axis of revolution I can right click and say clear selections and instead of the axis of revolution as the vertical line, if I click on the horizontal line at the bottom, we can get another solid feature here. So if I click OK, and we can see how the revolved solid model can be created based on what axis of revolution uh, that we can choose to revolve the sketch. Now let us say we want to use the revolve cut feature and we want to create a groove on this uh, cylindrical face for the solid model. So in order to do that, we need to select the sketching plane. And so in this case, I'm going to use the top plane. And if I click on normal to option, my part will be oriented normal to the viewpoint. And let's say we want to go to the sketch and click on the circle and I'm going to create this uh, circle with the center at the midpoint and assign the dimensions here. So let's say we use 30 millimeters um, diameter groove and also I will assign the uh, dimensions. Uh, if I, since, since I had already created this circle right at the midpoint of this horizontal line, so when I try to assign another dimension which over defines it, so we cannot use this dimension so i'm going to cancel it because as we can see the circuit circle is fully defined and it shows in the uh, dark color okay so now if we want to revolve this circle around this cylindrical face to cut the groove we would need a horizontal axis of revolution in this case and so to do that we can go to the center line option and I'm going to create a horizontal center line with reference to the origin. And once I do that, it gets completely defined because I've started it from the origin itself. Now, if I go to features and click on the revolve cut, it will show the preview. 
of how the cut will take place and if I click on the check mark we can get the groove cut on the solid model. So in a very similar way to the extrude cut the revolve cut feature will also work based on what sketch that we want to revolve and what kind of the axis of revolution that we are using to cut that feature. Let's take a look at another example of the revolve cut. I'm going to switch back to the part file that we've created in the first part of this module 2 and here I'm going to create a revolve cut around one of the corners of this uh, rectangular face. Also I'm going to talk about how we can convert the entities while creating the sketches. So if I select this face and click on the uh, sketch option. We can see that there is an option that says convert entities. So if I click on the convert entities, since I had selected this face, we can notice that all the edges of these faces of this face are converted into these sketch lines automatically. This is a very powerful option that some of the times if the geometry is complicated, we don't want to keep on creating the sketch lines over the already existing edges of the solid model and so this command of the convert entities is pretty useful. Now what I will do is create a, a three point arc or rather let's create a center point arc. I'm going to start off, start off from this vertex, go up to here and connect it on that edge. I will also create the dimension for this edge and I'm going to make that as uh, let's say 25. I can always control Z if something went wrong. So I'm going to change that to 25. And I can use now the trim option to trim the unwanted sketch entity. So if I click on the trim I don't want this line, other line as well, and now if I trim this edge and that edge, so now we have a closed sketch that we want to use for the cut revolve. I'm going to click OK and go to Features, Revolve Cut. I can choose the axis of revolution. It's one of the axis of revolution I can select with respect to which the sketch can be revolved. And if I click OK for 360 degrees, I can get a corner spherical cut that can be generated using the revolve cut option. So that's it for this video. And uh, in the next video, we will take a look at the fillet and chamfer for the third part of this module.